Hello everyone! Okay guys, this is the second try to finish filming this video. Um, I'm actually starting all over again really. I just took the onesie he had um, over this one, this white onesie. And I posted a video on Instagram and I just said how cute sometimes babies look simply with like a white why won't see on right i mean i sometimes i forget about that um so i'm here with lucas uh fake lucas and i have real lucas here behind me i don't know if you can see his booty his fluff butt <laughs> with a cloth diaper um and okay guys so i'm here to make this theme thursday video um i think it's been a while since i changed the baby on camera oh no oh gosh i take that back I did change Harlow the other day, sorry about that. I, I forgot my mind is like all over the place lately. But anyways, you haven't seen this adorable little boy in a long time. Look how cute he is. And when I saw him today, because I, I had it on the back for like weeks. When I saw him today, I'm like, wow, this makes me even more excited about the April that um, Michelle Kite, which is Lucas' artist, is gonna be studying very soon uh, yeah I cannot wait like um, I'm, I have to send her pictures of this baby here to kind of give her a guideline of what I want um, because you know the April like I said to me is like the twin of the sunny kid just asleep anyway so today's theme is elephants and or gray color so I don't have anything with elephants um, I don't think I do have that, um, who knows where it is right now, a nice blanket, I don't know if you guys remember it, you probably do, with like blue and green elephants all over, a very nice blanket, but I have no idea right now where it is, it's probably on some toe that I haven't even opened yet. Hi, be gentle, be gentle with your portrait baby. <laughs> um, okay, so I don't have any with, anything with elephants, I don't think, um, but I did find this cute adorable uh, outfit that I show you guys on the whole video on the cutters whole video the other day it has like um, clouds and stars and moons all over it's very very cute and it comes with this long sleeve top here that it says mommy loves me to the moon and back look how cute is that adorable um, and it comes with the pants with the pants here, with the little clouds on the knees, and yes, Lucas wants to be on the video today, I guess. Um, I wish I could show them like both very well, but if I move the camera and I show the real Lucas, you guys won't see him. Um, and, you know, since this is a reborn channel, I thought you guys care more about him, but I know a lot of you love Lucas too, so um, yeah. So I have Lucas times two today. Lucas time two. Um, I want to put him on this cozy outfit. I probably forgot to get my baby powder spray with me. You know what? I'm going to try to pause the camera. Let's see if this time it works and I'm going to get it. Okay, guys, I'm back. That's so cute. Look at that. I mean, let me show you. Hold on. Let me move the camera for a sec. Look at that. Real Lucas and baby Lucas and fake Lucas. <laughs> it's like big Lucas is, is kind of taking care of uh, his baby. Oh my, it's so funny. Uh, let's see if I can put some of that spray without um, spraying the vinyl. But, uh, so this is artificial lighting. It's night time now. And I gotta say, I'm very happy with it very happy with it um so it's funny like this house has better artificial lighting uh because like i said the the lamps don't have that yellowish baby baby can i have that you shouldn't play with that uh they don't have that kind of like um yellow tint to it like brownish and it would make it look yellow uh, so, and hold on, I'm gonna spray these two parts to the top. Oh gosh, I love this smell. I got these, guys, I told you before, but just in case this is the first video you watch, um, I got this on eBay. So if you put like baby powder, 
body spray, you're probably gonna find it. It wasn't very expensive at all. It was like, I don't know, maybe six dollars or so. And it smells really good. At first I thought it was very, very soft, like I couldn't even smell it. But it actually smells great. I mean, it smells, you know, just right. Like, not too overpowering and not like that you cannot <coughs> even smell it. I'm sorry, I got kind of like, I started coughing for a moment. So, yeah, so I'm, uh, so like I said, when I, when I saw this baby today, I, um, I got very excited about my April, which I have no idea when Mich Michelle haven't even started yet, so, but she should start soon. And I don't know when it's going to be finished, but, um, I don't know, I'm hoping it's like, um, Thanksgiving baby for sure. I think she's gonna be done before that because like I told you guys she does work fast So yeah So I'm very excited. Oh gosh, it's gonna be so cute to see them together <laughs> Cannot wait and so the one she's gonna be reborning that's gonna be a boy um, You know I'm crazy about girls, but in this case Since again, it's like a portrait baby, you know of my son in this case, I'm gonna go with the boy first. And since Michelle made the boy, I want her to make the boy on the April kit. So, oh, so cute. Look at that, guys. Look how sweet. Hi, aunties. I missed you. <laughs> this is so adorable. Um, let me see. And I have socks. I know they're not gray. Well, okay, this has gray on it with some light blue uh, and this okay this doesn't match really it's light blue but who cares I just I wanted to put meat on him today I wanted to like I said I wanted to to dress him cozy um, today was a beautiful beautiful day I'm gonna I'm gonna try to post some of the pictures that I took today on Instagram um, we went to a kind of like a pumpkin patch kind of place and like a nursery they sell flowers very nice place beautiful and we had beautiful weather it felt like 79 today guys 79 for Connecticut this time of the year that's wow that's a blessing from above <laughs> I mean because once once the cold weather starts oh boy I mean this is probably one of the last nice days that we're gonna have in a long long time uh, and tomorrow we're expecting a uh, little rain, lots of rain it seems, and then the day after I think as well. So oh, look how cute he looks, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, I'm going to have to snuggle with this little boy if I get a chance, if the real one lets me, because <laughs> that doesn't happen often guys, it doesn't happen often. Oh my, um, and tomorrow, tomorrow um, two ladies are coming, two therapists are coming to do the evaluation um, on the real Lucas, yeah. You guys know he, he used to have therapies in Florida, they used to come home and all that. Now over there, they do it differently. They have a therapist for each area, like uh, occupational therapies, physical therapies, and feeding therapies. Here, they assign you one therapist and they do everything. Um, and supposedly it's like a different, really, approach, like, um, Back in Florida, he did have therapy more times a week, more times per week, but they didn't really focus on teaching you what to do to help your child, you know, achieve the, his goals. Um, and here in Connecticut, it's a little bit different. They call it the coaching method or something. I don't know. I never heard of that. I'm, I guess I've, I'm still new to the therapy terms. Um, the coach method they call it so they focus a lot on teaching the parents on things and exercises and stuff that they can do on a daily basis to help the child develop and improve and you know reach their milestones and all that so um, yeah so that's gonna happen tomorrow and then I think about a week later she said they're gonna call me to arrange to start the therapist uh, the therapist uh, sorry uh, but it's going to be once a week. It's going to be once a week. It's not going to be three times a week, which is... Um, we'll see how it goes. I did ask with my friend, um, my friend that lives nearby to me, where we stay with them, you know, the place where we stay, the, the, his friend of mine that was nice enough 
to let us stay with, with them till the whole movie nightmare got resolved. Um, she's a therapist herself. She's an occupational therapist, but she doesn't work with kids. She works with adults, like elderly people, actually, mostly. Um, so, yeah, but she does, yes, she does know a lot about it, of course, like, that's her job. Uh, and her daughter, her daughter doesn't have any syndrome or anything like that, but her daughter was a little bit behind. She did have low muscle tone and stuff, and so they did this program with her, with her daughter. Um, and she said she liked it a lot. My friend says she liked it a lot, and she says that usually they achieve their goals and milestones faster because, like I said, they, they want the parents to practice the exercises and really, really get involved with it every single day so they actually make more progress and if if they just see a therapist you know once or twice or three times a week even you know what i mean so yeah that's what she said you know every kid is different uh i'm a little bit concerned when i said well like mm, but i wonder if that's really best for him hopefully it will go fine that's how the program here works uh of course we could get therapy in a private place but <laughs> you guys know even if you have insurance that goes like $50 a session, $50 a session, that's a lot of money, like, that's a lot of money. If we want, if we want him to go to a private place, say have the, all the therapies he used to have, but at a private place, out of our pocket, even with insurance, that would be like $150 a week, a week. And I don't think we can afford that, I mean, um, and again, you know, uh, like I said, my friend did have amazing results. She's a therapist herself, so of course she had that on her side, I guess. Um, but I don't know, she said that program works really well. So, um, so we'll see, we'll see how it goes. Um, in the one hand, I feel like, oh no, back to the therapies again, you know. But then I think about how good it is for Lucas, you know, for my son, uh, how much it helped him. Even this month, this past month that he didn't have any therapies, he has been making a lot of improvements. So I'm very happy about that. I'm very proud of him. Uh, and I hope, you know, then I think about how good therapies are for him, actually, and how much they help him. And I'm like, hey, I shouldn't be upset that tomorrow he's going to have the evaluation. Actually, I should be happy, you know, that, that he's going he's gonna to finally get back on track with that. Um, so, yeah, and we do still need medical insurance. Ugh. Gosh, I don't want to think about that. We still need to sign up. Um, yeah, he has to go to the pediatrician ASAP because he's behind with his last checkup, the 18 months checkup. And yeah, so I don't know, not much to tell, guys. Um, yeah, like I said, keep an eye on my Instagram. My Instagram is Bundles of Joy 83, same as my channel. Uh, I'm going to be posting some of the pictures that I took today. Uh, at that little nice pumpkin patch nursery place, a uh, really nice that we, we found. Um, okay, so yeah, well, thank you so much, guys, for watching. I hope you enjoyed my theme Thursday video. I think is Mr. Mr. Lucas looks so cute. Look at that, look at that, he's so adorable. Oh my gosh, I love him. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna be taking some pictures of him. Uh, and yeah, guys, I'll see you soon, well, probably with another video on Saturday. Yes, probably Saturday. Okay, so just stay safe, and I will see you guys soon, okay? Love you. Bye. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.